Hello there. Welcome to Carstead Partners Packaging Spotlight. Hi, this is Kevin Carstead at Carstead Partners. I'm here again with Mike Ferrari from uh, Ferrari Innovation Solutions. Mike, we're doing kind of a rehash of uh, Label Expo. You just got back, got over the jet lag and, and all of that. Um, tell us a little bit about Label Expo, just in a, you know, real quick for, for this version, and then let's talk about some of the trends you saw. Well, overall, I, I was really excited to see, Kevin, uh, numerous uh, brand owners uh, through the show. Uh, a lot of R&D folks, uh, a few uh, artwork owners, designers, and marketers, and as well as purchasers. So clearly all the disciplines. And I believe that uh, brand owners are starting to really want to understand uh, the whole idea of digital printing. They're seeing and hearing stories, and those that have not participated now want to get fur further inside so that they're not missing an opportunity. Yeah, I, I heard you refer to it before as, as that, that it seems as though brands are being, being, beginning to embrace the whole digital kind of thing for what it, for what it can do for them. Um, you and I have both spoken at, at numerous conferences about digital print targeted at the brand owner in that. And the question always comes up, you know, are brands looking at bringing digital in-house? And, you know, the, 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 the supply chains all looking to understand that because it, 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 it affects them greatly. What are your, what's your view? What are you seeing out there as far as brands want to bringing it, uh, wanna, wanting to bring digital print in um, or not? What do you what do you think in there? Well, Kevin, I, I think you really uh, hit a nail on the head, and that question comes up uh, often. And uh, what I've observed is at this point uh, of the hundreds of of uh, uh, brands and and printers together that I have seen around the world, I know of only one case where a brand and and it's a minor brand has brought equipment in house some ten years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not seeing that happen. However, there is a real interest in agility, in the uh, ability to get speed to market, to um, uh, reduce complexity. And so near site production is becoming very important to people. And near site doesn't mean that they're going to own it, but near site means that uh, brands with their strategic partners are going to bring uh, printing closer to where manufacturing is occurring. So that they can be more nimble in, in, in how they do it. Um, in in the in our friends across the pond in Europe like to call that hole in the wall manufacturing where they they literally are, are next door or whatever and and you've you've given me examples you've told me examples of of how that's being done and and that for for some major brands some of the some of the reasons why they they like to do that is or or they like the the manufacturer of the product of the uh, the printer to do that. Is because of the the added technology of the finishing and and the and the substrates and all of that stuff that the brand owner doesn't have to worry about, right? That's exactly right. They're not going to when sometimes the question gets asked by the brand owner of should we shouldn't we and usually that's a purchasing manager go, manager going through the numbers. But once they get into the skill factor, Kevin, that's where things fall apart because there are different skills that are outside the core competency of what brand owners have or want to take on. Right. So they will stay in, in a supply-driven uh, uh, supply chain. Right, right. And well, and one of the other things is that uh, this technology is evolving so quickly. And, you know, who wants to buy a piece of iron and set it in there and have it, uh, quote, unquote, obsolete within two years? They, you know, let the, let the people who deal with that kind of technology and the evolution of that technology deal with it more effectively than than the brands can them than themselves okay one other one other trend you had mentioned too when we were talking offline was um, the number of commercial printers you saw at label expo looking at label and, and probably folding carton applications it's another trend you're you know that we could talk about for a second yes and Kevin I, I would say that the trend started uh, that I've observed at Drupa so one year ago as wide format uh, started to become announced. Uh, I had numerous conversations with uh, commercial uh, printers who are looking to diversify, looking to reinvent themselves. And and in fact, I even know several that have purchased the uh, wide format, the 10,000 
uh, machine from HP Indigo that are now already beginning to uh, run their commercial and this appears to be a growing trend. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Well, I appreciate your time again tonight, Mike, and uh, and that we'll we'll talk on this subject uh, more um, shortly. And I appreciate you spending some time with me. Thanks again. Thank you, Kevin. You bet. Thank you.